I'm gonna show you how they paint this beautiful iris flower and how to introduce uh, extra colors outside of the three primary colors into this painting process. Enjoy out as a global artist community. I want to welcome you to join us today. Let's start this painting. First, I'm going to think about how I'm going to compose this. Maybe off the center a little bit, the middle over here. And then coming down over here, make sure I have enough. That would be the main area. And on this side, the petal, I'm going to expand it a little bit. I'm going to change the shape a little bit like that. Just try to make it look a little bit more interesting. I'm going to have this come out a little bit on this one. Avoid the being too straight and too flat. Okay, that's one, two, and then this pad over here. So we're going to talk about how we're going to develop the details from big and then go into smaller and smaller. I think the drawing looks pretty good. Now we're going to move on to our next step. All right, I'm going to prepare my brush to let the soap get inside of this brush here. This is the brand of masking fluid I've been using. So that should be good enough. All right, now we're going to start masking. Take it, start from the edge. And when you are masking, keep observe. If you can mask well, it will save you time when you're doing your paintings. So, but you don't need to do it a little bit quicker. Okay, if you have something coming out like that, a little edge, and if you can do it like that, it will save you lots of hassles a little bit later, and also make your painting a more efficient. I'm gonna come in like that and moving. So that's okay. Give it a little bit more. Okay, take a look inside over here. Is there anything that is too thin? You need to cover it. We're just gonna wait and let it dry. Now the masking foot already dried, and I'm gonna start using the one inch flat brush and start painting the background. And I'm thinking about this because this is purple color. I don't want the background darker than the purple colors, but definitely going to be lighter. Uh, they're going to be darker than the white color on the top, right? So especially over here, like a little purple color over here, I, I'm going to make the area next to outside of the the dark color make it a little bit lighter than this. So make the flower to become a little bit more uh, standing out, more dominant. So I'm going to start from the top. All right, I'm going to take the Windsor Blue green shade. Have a lot more water. But at the same time, you need a lot more paint. Otherwise, it's not going to be dark enough, strong enough. I'm going to have this a little bit darker. And I'm going to start with this from the top here. That's okay. Now I'm going to quickly change it to some yellow color so make it look feeling a little bit more green i can just take the yellow color right over here now coming down now the top i even make it a little bit darker i'm gonna get a little bit red with the blue color here you go. I try to make it feel a little bit more dynamic. Okay, like this. That's okay. Now coming down over here, I can have this color right here. 
that's okay. But when as soon as this get a little bit closer to the purple color, I'm gonna get a little bit more, a little bit lighter. Get a little bit yellow. Here you go. I'm gonna have this like that. So it's not gonna be conflicting with the color inside the flower. I'm gonna have this. All right, just keep thinking about that. You have the purple color right inside over here. Like that. Some water, just the flat brush. And I'm gonna do just has enough water in here. So I'm gonna just put the water over here and the water is going to move the color around. And let's just take the color away. Just put the color over here. The water will push the color around like that. A little bit more water coming over here. I'm gonna have some line over here. That should be good enough. Right, like that. And I also want it to be appear a little bit softer. I'm going to take some water with my hands. I'm going to do a little, little splash. Especially the top over there. I want it to appear to be s more things going on in the background over there. Okay, that's good enough. And I'm going to wait for it to dry. And then I'm going to come back to paint the main object. Now the whole painting is already dry. I'm going to lift up the masking fluid. Start from the edge. Okay, coming from the corner over here. Now, pretty soon I can start lift them up and there you go. Sometimes simple the better. Now it's almost done. Perfect. Next we're going to start painting into the flower. And First, we're not going to look at the detail that much. It's very important to create a form. Okay, now I'm going to use the calligraphy brush. Okay, a little bit more over there. Let's take a look. Start over here on this side. And use the brush like this. You can see a little bit changes and move it like that. And here you go and take a look and on this side also have the from the dark in the center moving out a little bit lighter remember always start from big connection before looking at smaller connection winter blue red shade a little bit red here you go like that that looks good put it right in the middle over here do even more details later. Few line over here. You see that a very soft color. So I put a few line over here. It would look like the color on the petal. 
I'm going to lift up a little color in here. I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. Okay, I'm going to lift it up a little bit. Okay, a little bit. Okay, lift a little bit, keep a little texture. That's good. Before we draw the detail, making sure even the yellow color in here is not a light yellow. When you squint your eye, it looks like a light brown color. So I'm gonna take the yellow and the red and screen your eye and even have some blue color. And star from this color need to be darker. I'm gonna put a little color in here. You can see this color is star from the inside like that. And I'm gonna gradually turn to a little bit lighter and lighter yellow. Yeah, here you go. I'm gonna have a few lines like this. Get a little suggestions of the line. You see, using this brush, some of you don't even trust me. Even I keep saying that again and again. You can do lots of lots of details and very flexible, very easy. Just with the click of your brush and two brushes together. That's all you need right now. Okay, now you can see the color from darker turn into a little lighter. Do you see the depth right now, right? Now I'm going to also, after this dry, I'm gonna also make this inside over here. It's not just white color. Inside over there is a gray color. And then you put the brown color on the top and it will look right. Let me show you on the other side. Okay, screen your eye. You can see inside over here, it actually this color. Take a look, inside over here. Maybe a little bit brownish color. Okay, right here. It actually in this a little bit darker. Okay, if you don't have the darker color in here, it's not gonna look like it's turning, even over here, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna see the turning. Now first going to suggest the form and we're gonna create the details like that. Do you actually see this color? You probably didn't, but now you can see it. And then turn it over here like that. And later I'm gonna also even put a little bit shadow over here. So before I go forward to uh, draw the details, now I'm gonna also add a little bit blue color over here. It's not really white color. It's a little bit blue in here on the edge like that and coming up over here. Here you go. And I'm gonna just add this color there. Okay, and the flower coming along, right? I'm gonna make it a little bit softer. Here you go. Now this is the foundation. And I'm gonna take a look on this side. I'm gonna do this something really, really similar. So I'm gonna take this color, take a look at the outside over here, and put this color first. I draw the suggestions, the texture a little bit later, okay? Here you go, like that and coming around, here you go. On this side, we also see this color, a little bit more, like that. On the edge, as I have a little bit light, I can, can lift that. So I'm also going to have this color, a little bit more wet here. I'm gonna add a little bit more water in here, so make it a little bit softer, connect it. Okay, over here too. All right, now it looks like I'm gonna start from here. I'm gonna add the pure red color, put it here, and have the Windsor Blue red shade. 
Yeah, I'm going to have a little bit more red. Alright, a little bit more blue. That's alright. Now I'm going to start from here. Start right here. That's start turning. Now I have a little bit soft transition over here. There you go. I'm going to do a little lifting for the center line. Okay. Here you go. Coming down here. And let the wet into wet do the work to see how much it can help us. I'm going to draw the line over here all the way. Okay. A little squeaky line like that and it's going to turn into more and more brown into the center okay like that that's good I'm gonna have a little bit more blue color here you go like that here you go like that and the edge over here here you go like that that's good Now I'm going to do a little lifting over here. Lift up a little color. Lift a little bit color. And we would like to have a little bit brighter purple color. Now I am introducing a bright violet color, Windsor Violet. And this would be a very good additional. Now I'm going to take this color in here. Take a look at, start from the center over here, a little bit, don't make it too straight, you can have a little bit shaky kind of line. Okay, that's good, okay, here you go, a little bit, coming from the inside and start joining over here now that's good here you go now i'm gonna turn in a little bit lighter coming down over here here you go like that looks really good coming over here have this light color and then come back to give uh, some texture some some detail a little bit later and over here I'm gonna have a little bit line coming like this okay that's good and the line going all the way to the edge. Let's get keep going. Like this. Okay. And I'm going to make this area a little bit darker. And that needs to be a little bit red color. Mix it in here. I can see this color a little bit darker. Like that little turning. That's good. On the edge over here also a little bit darker too. Because that is a little turning around. Now at this point, I'm going to lift up some a small line. So using the one inch fry brush. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna start lift this line. I don't want this line too straight. I'm going to have a little curve. Here you go. Start from there and a little bit coming this way and reshape the brush. That's good. Like this. Continue. Okay. Here you go. 
coming toward this side. That's good. Just a little bit lighter. That's good enough. And I would have that the surrounding both sides a little bit darker, a little bit later. Now I'm also going to soften this, make it a little bit, feeling a little bit toning over. Gradually toning. Okay, that's good. All right, we're going to come back a little bit later to the center over here. When meanwhile, I'm going to have a little bit blue color. It had both colors. And I'm going to give a little suggestions for on the side over here, like this. All right, that's pretty good. Here you go. Now on the other side, over here, and have a little bit lighter. Okay, here you go. Now we create a nice texture. Now I think this is pretty good. We're gonna come back a little bit later before we coming back here to create some darker shape in the center. Now here you go. Now I'm gonna to come to the blue and the violet color together. I'm gonna create this area, this petal right over here. Okay, like that. We want to have this feeling a little bit um, wider. That's good. Now on the top over here, have a little bit more violet. Now here you go, right here, like that. Now the outside a little bit lighter. Here you go. And then come back to take care of the texture. And if you too much water, there's something off. Okay, like this. Okay, that's nice. Keep a little light shape if you can. And come back to do that a little bit later. Maybe here, a little bit darker for now. Okay, that's good. Uh, we're going to take a look at the color over here on the top. Here you go. Okay, and then... Okay, that's good. This is pretty light. I'm gonna use this color Start from the top over here, like that, coming down, and coming down like this. This is a one good example showing that we can mix almost every colors, but some of the color we still need to get help to make it a lot more direct. And some of the, like the purple color I mentioned a few times before, and one of the uh, exception that we need to directly get the color and coming over here. Here we go. And coming over here. That's a little bit softer. That's good. And I'm gonna get a little bit brown color. The brown color is just a little bit yellow and red color. Here you go. Now I'm gonna come in from the center, coming out, and here you go. Over here like that. Observations very important. Okay, that's good. Look again. It's not just one straight line. Somewhere actually a little bit like uh, the anatomy of three the branches like is split when you get the outside. I'm gonna have a little bit more brown in the center over here. Here you go, like that. That's good. It looks pretty real. And the outside over here, I'm gonna have 
little bit darker and even have a little bit more red. And here, here you go. It's a little bit darker. Like that. Okay. Looks very good. The top over here doesn't need to be so dark. I can light up a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to come back with this purple color in the center over here. Make it a little bit darker and over here a little bit darker. And I'm going to have also the some line at the center, some create some textures. Yeah, like that. Here you go, like this. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna paint in the inside. Squint your eye to see how dark that color. I need a little bit blue color. You kind of make it a little bit darker, the inside here. Okay, that's good. Now, take a look at how this turn. And over here, turn a little bit. Okay, like that. Here you go. Okay, now I'm gonna start getting a little purple color also get a little bit lighter. Now that's good from here. Now get a little bit purple, even a little bit red. Yeah, and here you go. You're changing into a little bit purplish. That. We're gonna have a little bit light and then come back with a little texture. How fun is it? Okay, you go like that, a little bit lighter. But there's a little bit orange color in here. See that? There's showing there's a little orange color. Get the yellow, get the red. Here you go, a little bit orange color. I'm just gonna put it right here, that's good. I'm making sure those details contained within the relationship of the bigger shape, okay? You don't want to break out the big connection. Okay, now I'm going to Make this a little bit lighter in this area. Now, this flat brush really can help to make this whole area lighter. 